Hi friends, so I was at Target today and we have a haul. Um, I was looking for things that are farm related or garden related and I really love this. I found these um, chicken baskets, they're probably for Easter or whatnot, but these um, wire baskets shaped like a chicken. There were three, I only got two. I probably should have gotten the third one. This wire basket's only five bucks. I got two of them. Adorable. And I love the handles. What you need the most are the handles. And it's quite sturdy. You could hold fruit in it or eggs. So I love it so much. I love it so much. I hope they carry it every single year. Next, I purchased these towels they're so adorable welcome to the patch or to our patch which I love even more and the embroidered carrots and also this cute little carrot towel so these can be like more like tea towels than hand towels love it um, and hello spring and I love this pattern as well so I can use it like for baked goods to line a basket or um, to cover baked goods, you know, above it and keep it nice and clean. So the towels were five were five dollars a pop for two towels. And then here I got some storage bins for three dollars. I only got two of them in green. They had other colors, but um, all I saw were green. Um, and they're a perfect size to hold something like say seeds that you're going to grow or like when you're sorting your seeds and so while i was there so i got two green bins for three dollars each and while I, I was there i got these seeds and let's just go over the seeds and let me move them to the side there. so those green bins are perfect for seeds and seed organization like when you want to take some seeds out specific ones just to sow and then bring them back in and put them in your organizer um, organizer so you could do that or you can put it use it for school supplies um, pens pencils um, you know markers scissors what have you so let's um, go on to the seed haul um, all these seeds are going to be by burpee and so I decided to get them because um, I, I got everything that I haven't purchased before or that caught my eye that looked really unique. So here's a tomato red currant. Usually I'm not too keen on buying little um, tomatoes because they're kind of a pain in the butt like to, to harvest. You gotta get each and every little one that's ripe and not get the ones that are not yet ripe. However, my chickens love to eat them. I changed my mind because um, each branch or whatever you call it has so many fruit and I could just wash them up and um, we can have it in our salads or just eat them fresh while we're outside. So this one produces a prolific harvest of tangy, sweet, crisp, and just half inch in diameter fruit. Good disease resistance and indeterminate. Next, I got the hot pepper jalapeno gigantia. And it's a mildly hot, five inch long fruit with thick walls, ideal for stuffing, grilling, or pickling. So that's what I plan on doing, grilling, that would be so delicious, or um, stuffing it, which my son loves, and um, whatever makes them happy as far as food goes, you know, you should enjoy food. So I got this hot pepper pinata blend, and I did read the back before I got it, and I like it. It's a colorful blend of cayenne peppers, so red, narrow, golden, purple, and orange beautiful. Next I got some ornamental corn glass gem. It looks so pretty. There are purples and greens and blues and pinks. So pretty. Um, 
I've seen it in the catalogs and I didn't buy them and I just recently thought about it and I really want them. So it says multicolored translucent kernels may be used for popcorn or ground for cornmeal. The ears and stalks are great for or ornamental use. So the ears, the stalks, as well as each kernel. I've heard of some people using the kernels for like jewelry. So that's cool. And it's edible. It's a popcorn. <laughs> so how wonderful is that? Multi-use. So I got this Nanty Supreme and it looks so gorgeous. Um, maybe that's why it's called Supreme. So early and uniform 7 to 8 inch carrots store better and longer than the standard Nanty's types. Love that. Next I got the Pickle Bush Cucumber which is sounds like it's good for pickling. Space saving two foot tall plants produce an abundance of four to five inch fruits for pickling. Yep, I love pickles or if not pickling then just fresh eating. Next we have herbs. So I love basil. If you know me, I love basil. And actually now that I'm at home, I kind of wish I had bought more um, more of some of these varieties, which I don't ever see at um, other times in because I haven't seen lemon drop before. So I'm curious of how this is different from the lemon basil. It says sweeter fragrance than any other lemon basil. Leaves great for tea, sorbets, and potpourris. Annual. See, I love that. It even gives you ideas as to use it as potpourri or for in your sorbet. This is the spicy saber basil. Look at how pretty that is. And um, if it's spicy, I'm curious what the spice is and what I can cook it with because I love that. So this is one I was regretting not buying more of. But now that I heard the description for the lemon drop basil, I wish I had bought more of that as well. So this one, let's read the description. A distinct spicy note, perfect for Asian dishes. Oh, I love that. Bright green, deeply serrated leaves add an ornamental value to a patio container. Annual. <sighs> now I wish I bought more. And then mammoth basil, of course I love that one. I love, I bought it from um, MI Gardener before. These oversized mammoth basil leaves are milder and tradi than traditional sweet basil. So, but I like that they're big, big leaves. And then this can be used as an herb, lavender, English lavender, it's edible. Um, foliage and flowers have wonderful scent. Use dry to make sachets. Perennial zone six to nine, so um, it should be safe because it doesn't get colder than that here, but it does get a little bit warmer. But you could put in like a little bit more shade, shady spots if you're um, in a hot region like Florida or SoCal. Next, let's move on to flowers. So I bought several zinnias. So this is new to me, Pinwheel Mixed Colors Zinnia. Looks really pretty. I love the center being pink and then becoming like a white. And this one doesn't show much of a difference, but it, like you can see that it's a darker yellow and it becomes lighter. So it looks really pretty. Mildew resistant single daisy like three inch flowers. Heat loving mix is great for beds, borders and containers love that. Then I got these giant flowered mixed colors zinnias and the colors are gorgeous. Huge double five inch colorful dahlia flowered blooms flower profusely all summer. That's what I'm looking for because I really enjoy the zinnias, the pop of color in my garden. Um, and last year my zinnias lasted till through November even when it was so cold and started to die off and I got I'm starting to grow some from seeds from those zinnias last year so this one is the fruit smoothie mixed zinnia it looks really pretty um, a cooling color combo of intense three inch double blooms in pure orange and purple great for beds and borders and I wasn't gonna get this one but 
see, being that the other one's five inch blooms and this is three inch blooms with different colorations, I decided I would get this as well. Um, and then I got this Zinnia Exquisite. How pretty is that? And it says a spectacular burpee bread heirloom. Large four to five inch blooms open red and age to soft pink. And now that I've read the description, I can see that it's red and then ages to this pink color. Really pretty. And then I've been really into red now. I saw um, another gardener um, planting, I forgot what she called the color, the specific color of the zinnias, but they were red and they were really gorgeous. Probably prettier than these, um, but but this is called Big Red. Extra large blooms up to six inch across transition from rich red to deep orange. Oh, interesting. Oh yes, now I remember hers were called Moulin Rouge. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna look for those. <laughs> Next I got some flowers that um, are kind of rare and I, I don't have these in my collection. So this one, I've seen it before and it it really like is so different. I love that it's round and it's like papery thin and almost transparent. It's called the Money Plant Lun Lunaria. I've seen it before that other people have grown and I just finally decided I'm going to get them. Silvery white flat disc like seed pods bloom the second year. Use in dried arrangements. Oh, that's perfect. Perennial zones 5 to 9. What I love about these, which I didn't know, is that they're perennial. So it's wonderful. It's kind of like a weird type of plant, like how I regard. Um, Lufa, but weird in a good way. Next, I got this California Poppy Yukon Gold. So it's frillier than my golden California Poppy, regular California Poppy. So I decided to get this. Um, carefree California Poppy with ruffled orange yellow petals, drought tolerant. Since I am in California, so I'll just get these um, growing and at least I'll have a different colored one. And then I spotted these and I decided to get these as well. It's Sunset Mixed Colors. I wasn't gonna get it until I noticed that it has the pink ones as well as lighter yellow colored shades and red ones. So, sounds good to me. Single flowers from cream to red and by colors cover bushy plants. Next, I got this Cosmos Summer Sunshine Mixed Colors. I don't know if they're single or double. It looks doubled, but it really looks pretty. And I, I wonder if it's different from my other Sensations Mix or um, Bright Lights. So we'll see. So our unique bright blend of bedding Cosmos includes lemon yellow, gold, orange, and red. Then we have Calendula Oktoberfest. Double flowers are deep orange with a dark eye topping sturdy stems. Long blooming makes it great for bouquets. So it's going to be 20 to 24 inches in height. Next we have something that looks like a sunflower and sort of like a calendula, but kind of more like a sunflower. Vanidium, orange prints. So that's new to me. Bright orange blooms contrast nicely against silvery green foliage. Excellent cut flower. It'll be 24 inches tall. And I love how it looks. Next, I got the Sunflower Italian White. I've bypassed it before, but I had a change of heart because I love how it's like very like light colored. An abundance of four inch creamy white to yellow blooms form and on multi-branching plants. So it's five feet tall and I love that it's multi-branching so you get more flowers per stalk. Then I got this Sunflower Chocolate Cherry. I don't think I've purchased it before and I've been liking the darker colored 
sunflowers. So charming branching sunflower blooms with a ring of chocolate burgundy petals around a dark chocolate disc. This one's quite tall, six to seven feet tall. Next, I got the Sunflower Solar Eclipse. I wonder if it's Solar Eclipse because of that. A double band of deep gold petals surround a burnt orange ring with a black center. Ah, that's why it's called Solar Eclipse. Next, I got Pike's Peak Sunflower. And I had no idea that it was so tall, 15 feet tall, giant, produces enormous 14 inch disc florets, yields edible seeds. Ooh, that's a bonus. Edible seeds for wildlife, for my chickens, for my kids, um, and that they're enormous. And sunflower sunshine, this one I wanted it because it's only four feet tall. Golden yellow flowers have dark contrasting centers on top branching plants. So like children can look at it and it won't it won't be so tall that they have to like arch their neck. <laughs> Cuz sometimes you want to see something at eye level. Finally, I got this sunny perennial cut flower garden bouquet garden um set. It's $5 and I liked this one because it had the Echinacea, the Coreopsis, the Hollyhock, and the Shasta Daisy. I have this, 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 and this, but I haven't been able to grow this from seed myself. So we'll see um, if we can. And this one was a new, um, newly acquired seed but I don't know if it's the same type of Coreopsis. It looks kind of the same with the gold uh, petals and double petals and then the hollyhocks I'm hoping that they have more than just the pink I mean the fuchsia colored and the pink um, I see the yellow so that's different I had Ford hook ones so I don't know what variety this is and I, I have a Shasta daisy growing in the backyard so I'm trying to get more plants and oh yes i love that they're all perennial i wish that the seed companies could provide more and more perennial seed plants um, because it's kind of hard to get a hold of those um the plants that are perennial they're getting very expensive it used to be you could get a small pot like a four inch pot of uh some kind of perennial for like three or four dollars or maybe five but then it became like eight and nine dollars and now as of late I've seen them for eleven to fifteen or eighteen dollars per perennial plant and that is so ridiculous to me I don't know it just seems like it's too expensive so let's see the Alaska Shasta Daisy I have those seeds um, there's this hollyhock country romance mixed colors so it's going to have large three to five inch rose white maroon yellow and pink single flowers okay so mine is double petaled so this is single and then I don't have white or yellow blooms so this will be good to add to the mix and Coreopsis early sunshine First perennial Coreopsis to bloom the first year from seed. Wonderful. And who could do without um, purple coneflower? They look so pretty. Long lasting rosy purple flowers surround an orange brown central cone. And these are good for wildlife and they're really good for um, like making for when to boost your immune system like into a tea or something. So I grew one from, I bought a plant and I hope that it comes back this year. It came back one year, but I don't know if it's going to come back this year. It's kind of hard to tell with perennials because they die off and then they, they reappear in the spring. Um, so we'll see, but I love this variety. So I got this, this, and it's worth it. $4.99 for four different kinds of plants, like 
that's that's a great deal.